What's going on, y'all? And welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is Juwan Clark Productions Graphic Design Tutorial Series, and this is episode two. This is part two to the last video that we did. We showed some of the tools that you can use on Photoshop, on Adobe Photoshop, and hopefully y'all went ahead and downloaded your Adobe software or already started getting familiar with Photoshop. But now in this part of the video, it just be discussing some of the steps to removing a background so this is very very simple it's not gonna be a long video so oh my god stop fucking lying I want y'all to stay with me and then in episode three we go go ahead and move forward to how we can actually do some different type of things within photoshop but before we get into that i need y'all to do one thing i need y'all to do two things actually i need y'all to do three things to be honest so I need y'all to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I want y'all to be able to follow the progression. And then on top of that, and then you want you to go ahead and comment as well too. So make sure you're following us on Instagram as well too, at Juwan Clark Productions. And you can also check out all the content from Juwan Clark Productions from graphic design, request forums, making logos, flyers, and also web design as well. So make sure you go ahead and go over to JuwanClarkProductions.com. You should already know how to spell that, hopefully. And make sure you tune in to the next video for... We'll go ahead and hop into that video right now. And I hope y'all learn something new. So we're going to go ahead and place our first image onto the actual canvas. So we want to go ahead and press File. And you want to go to Place Link. So you can go ahead and place the actual object on there, whether it's an image or it's a PNG, which is a transparent file with no background on it. It's whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead into my downloads here. And I'm going to go ahead and just select this picture that I just recently took one of my friends. You can check out his Instagram page, 7 Mile Nate Photography and Pics on there. So on this one, I want to go ahead and just remove the background from this one. So usually sometimes I like to either brighten or dim the picture sometimes. But, you know, with a lot of artists pictures, you don't want to take away too many of the editing that they already did. So what I'll go ahead and do, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on this so I can get a little bit more accuracy on there and pull this up. And then we're going to start our simple background removal so I want you guys to pay close attention to some of the details that I do to be able to get a smooth crisp background removal so of course we want to turn this entire image into an entire PNG file where it has no background on the back so the first thing that we'll do we want to go over to this section right here which is the quick selection tool so you can kind of see the example right there. We have a lot of different guides on there. We can zoom in and get the actual background removed that you want and select the part that you always want to edit. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to just drag over. And if it's a high resolution picture, it'll always just snap and get the most of where we want to actually remove. And with this being more so the high res camera, it's going to get a lot of the areas that we want to you know get if we want to kind of zoom in and see if we got all the areas and go ahead and press command plus on an apple mac or control plus now to zoom into the image so you can get more accuracy you want to check that you got a lot of the key areas such as like the ears sometimes the ears can get cut off when you want to remove certain files and also by the jacket area you want to make sure you know the outfit and zoom in and see where you can actually remove certain things on here so we don't have to do too much to this image so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go to select and mask. This is where I can actually get a clear cut of the background and round it on off. So it doesn't look too choppy or, you know, a lot of imaging. You can always tell this Photoshop because they didn't select that select and mask area on that one. So we're going to go and select and mask. And with this, it'll let you do an inversion. You can invert it or you can also just keep it like this. So if it was the actual color background, then you'll be able to see, you know, the background removed and it would look a little white like this. So if you can see that this image has all white in the background, I mean, it's kind of good. Or if you didn't have that, then you can always invert it, which it kind of shows the cutout and some of the things in the areas that you can kind of, you know, round off and remove. So I want to clear this up just a little bit more. So I'm going to go back to the invert tool so I can just see the image that we're working with. 
and I like to smooth it on out a little bit. So if you zoom in just a little bit, you can kind of see where it's a little choppy around my head right there. That's just a graphic design eye. You'll always develop that, develop that a little bit more when you're working in Photoshop and you can get a good graphic design artistic eye. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, not that much, zoom on back. I wanna smooth that area on out to where I visually can see that it's looking smoother. So you can see the difference just a little bit. You can see it's kind of like getting blurred around the edges a little bit, getting a little smooth. I like to feather it out just a tad bit, but you can kind of see that shadow coming back in. So let's take that back in. And I wanna do the contrast so that it makes the lines a little bit sharper right there. And now you can actually see where some of that right there it looks a little too, you know, not too authentic. So I want to smooth it out just a little bit more. And I want to go ahead, take that contrast down just a little bit so it's not too detailed and too choppy and cut off. So now you can see kind of like the facial hair is showing where it was. And it looks a little bit more authentic. So we want to zoom out. Zoom on down, scroll down a little bit, and you can just check all the areas that you actually wanted to crop and it looks pretty good from right here. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom on back out of there. If you could see the full screen over here, it says at the bottom cancel or okay. You wanna press okay. And now you see the entire area where you actually selected the area. So now what I'm going to do, you can do it two different ways, but the way that I want to do it, so we have this entire area right here. You're gonna to go to select and you're gonna press inverse, which you can actually see is like a different command on your computer. It depends on if you have an actual MacBook or if you have a Windows PC, however you wanna do it. They also show different you know, selection tools that you can use for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and press inverse on there. And with this being an actual image, it shows over here that this image is not ready for editing. So if I did try to press command X, if I did try to press the delete function, it wouldn't automatically delete. It would show this function right there. Could not complete your request because the smart object is not directly editable. So you wanna go ahead and press okay. You wanna to go to your tool right here, the erase tool. And you wanna click that. And when you scroll over to the actual image, it'll show like that cancel feature. When you actually click on any area on the actual image screen, It'll say the smart object must be raterized before proceeding. Edit contents will no longer be available. Raterize the smart object. So you're gonna press okay to raterize the actual image. So now you can see over here, it doesn't have that linked feature and you can easily press command X, which will cut the background out, which we don't need the actual background anymore. So we'll just go ahead and press the delete function on a computer. You can always go up here to edit you can press cut or you can also just press delete on your computer, which I always do. I like to use computer keyboard shortcuts. So I'm gonna press delete on there and that deleted our entire background. So you see that white area is still back there. That's because we still have that actual layer, that white layer. We can always hide the layer and there we go with the background removed. See, I told y'all this wasn't about to be no long video. It was it was just a short little video. Boy, if you don't get it was something that y'all can learn how to do background removal. And I didn't go into depth of how you can put a background in there, but you can use all different types of backgrounds. Whichever background you use, you can go on Google, search any background that you think that fit best for you. And I'll also leave a description in the bottom for some PNGs that you can play with for the background that you want to add as well too. I usually use cleanpng.com, which I'll link in the description at the bottom. But I always want you to always like, comment, subscribe, and comment all the different things that you want to see. Leave some feedback and please share with everybody that you know because Graphic design is something fun. It can be useful. You'll never know what you need it for. So until the next episode, episode three, this is Juwan Clark of Juwan Clark Productions. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Juwan Clark Productions. Check out the website and stay tuned for the next video.